I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video So today's video I am going to be doing a set on this nail trainer hand And you can find these in so many places So I'll have a link down below for you guys I'm not sure, I think quality can be different in some senses But yeah, I'll try and leave a decent link below so i'm going to be using the coffin tips and these are the new competition coffin nail tips from glitterplanetuk.com and they will be available now so go and check them out on the link in the description box for you guys honestly these tips are bomb now i do struggle applying tips to this trainer because the nail beds are so so wide it is a task and a half it's not like putting it on um, a real client or on some other nail trainers that you can use because they're so stiff and wide I just I just found it a little difficult but it's not a problem nonetheless I held down and you know tried to get it done and um, but that is what the coffin tips look like they are super bomb and they are shorter than the pre pinched stiletto because obviously they have that extra length on the tip as well um, but yeah these are just a great addition to your collection and can be just simply and effort effortlessly used to create a nice coffin shape so as you can see i was having trouble trying to keep the wings down because this nail trainer the nails were so wide so i just added a little bit more glue and pressed down the side walls of the tips and then i will file and blend later on anyway just to make sure that they fit and because i was having that issue i trimmed down the tops of the smile on the tip and it just means that it's going to be less you know to worry about afterwards so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and then shape the tips and file them you know like just blend them in at the side walls and then we'll get straight in to the design and dame i really don't even want to go there because i don't even know what i was thinking with this i just wanted to sit down and do a nice design but that literally didn't happen it was a bit of a mess really but you know i just wanted to show you guys this look anyway to show that sometimes when you do sit down and try and do a set or even sometimes it happens on a client and you just hate what you've done like it is disastrous that client might love it but you know deep down you are suffering with shame if anyone has done that then please let me know i've done it once and i actually said to the client that i didn't like the finish set i know how bad is that and i was just like i'm so sorry she was she said she was happy but you know sometimes these clients can be a little bit sneaky and not tell us the truth i don't know why because then you've got to put up with that for four weeks or three however long that client goes and i was like i'm so sorry that you don't like these nails no i am so sorry that i don't like these nails i'm not happy with the finished result please if you are unhappy i will change them right now and she was like no no it's cool anyway she never came back so i'm guessing that she actually didn't like them but she didn't want to tell me this is when i first started as well so my nails were a bit a little bit like you know not not great not gonna lie but yeah she never came back oh well Anyway, I'm just blending and filing the tips as necessary and these are the new files. They are 100, 180 grit. They are still exactly the same files, but we have got them now branded and printed with our logo and they just look absolutely bomb. They are still my favourite files ever to use and I use them all the time. And I'll have the link down below, obviously. And also don't forget to use the code NINJA10 for 10% off and you'll get 10% off your entire order that includes brushes, nail forms, files, glitters, anything 10% off, you got this, I got you, okay? So I'm using Glam & Glitz Popsicle and this gold diamond acrylic which is called Hazel and then I also used, I think it's roasted chestnut I think yeah roasted chestnut and then i used bronze me up from glitter planet which is the glitter that i used in this set
Okay guys, so I don't know if you've spotted a little stray hair on my brush, but damn, it was bugging the hell out of me. So this is what I do. You literally take some stalk scissors and snip it at the end. You don't want to be cutting into your bristles or trying to shorten it or reshape it because you will ruin it. You literally just want to remove that hair that is sticking out and then you're good to go. Literally, some people don't care about that. Me, I cannot work if there's a little hair sticking out or if there's some issues. So, you know, it's got to be bomb. So that's all I do if I ever get a hair like that. It's either if I've stored it wrong or it's been lent on something and it's bent a bristle back, but it's super easy to fix and it's, it doesn't affect the brush whatsoever. So I'm just coming in and doing an ombre. This was really just a super random design and I absolutely hated the way it turned out. I'm not sure whether it was because it was on the nail trainer. It might have looked a lot better if it was on an actual client and I could sort of like get the nails looking a bit slender rather than having the wide nail beds because damn, if you have one of these hands, you know, like it's literally like a thumbnail on every single finger. That's how wide they are. So I, I mean, they're all right for really practicing consistency and ratio, but as a final look, I mean, I don't know. They're not the greatest, but they are affordable. They're not too expensive. And I will be testing out, I purchased the Poochie's hand, the realistic fake hand, and it is bomb. I haven't used it yet. I've held it and looked at it and inspected it. And damn, Daniel, it literally gives me life. Like, it is so freaky, but it gives me life. And I cannot wait to do a set of nails on it. So I'm going to be testing that out. And you already saw my demo of the Flexi Finger. I'm going to be showing you guys the full hand as well. A full video showing you all about it its features and also the price point for both of the hands because obviously everybody's got a budget to work to one of the hands is 200 pounds which i know that's quite a lot of dollars i'm sure it's like 250 270 dollars possibly and then the flexi hand is two is sorry not two something it's 70 pounds i think which is maybe like 80 something dollars so there's a big difference in price, but let's sort of like get some videos together and compare them and see what will work best. So I'm just coming in and I am using this acrylic, I'm making a nail bed and I really don't care about this set to be honest. Is that bad? I don't know. Is it bad? Is it bad? Is it bad? I don't know. So yeah, I'm probably just going to let you guys watch this set in peace and quiet. Chill out for another, how many minutes is left? Eight, eight minutes. Get yourself a coffee, check it out. I mean, it's not that bad. It would be such a better set if it was in a different like combination of colors. I think it was just the colors that were a mess. That's what the problem is here. So yeah, I'll let you guys watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.
So I'm using the wax pencil from Glitter Planet and also their teardrop, teardrop crystals and their mixed AB crystals as well. They are super cute and affordable and I absolutely love using them. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some designs and then apply the top coat. Okay guys, so this is the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like seriously, I hated this set so freaking much. I really don't know why, but I just didn't like it. But yeah, thank you for watching and always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back